Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft Tutorials. This is Akash and in this video we will go through the Salesforce connector. So there are many operations we can do on Salesforce but in this video we will do one select query and we will try to fetch the data from the Salesforce. So to start with the Salesforce connector you need to have a Salesforce account first. So there are there you can create one developers account which is free of cost. So just go to this Chrome and write developers Salesforce account on Google. So click on developer addition Salesforce developers and in this link you will get a sign up page where you need to sign in with sign up with your details and you will get one notification and click on verify your email address and your account will get created. So after creating an account, you need to go, I will log out from my account and will show you. You need to go to login.salesforce.com. Here you need to log in with your credentials. So this will redirect me to the home page of the Salesforce. So here we have contact, account and other stuff, all other we, objects we have in Salesforce. Okay, so we'll start with, we'll create a new project. We'll write uh, SFTC, this is salesforce.com approach. Click on finish. So this will create one new project in my studio with SFDC proj with a new XML file with the SFDC proj.xml. Here I will drag one HTTP connector and will configure this. I'll click on plus and uh, okay. And what we'll do, we'll send one uh, unique ID which is Salesforce ID as a URI parameter and we will try to fetch the account details for that particular Salesforce ID. So let's say my ID I will pass as a query URI parameter and now I will drag one Salesforce connector. Here I need to do, do the configuration for the Salesforce connector. I will click on add. There are many authentication we can do with so right now I will do the basic authentication. We have OAuth 2.0 with a token ASM SAML barrier token and the Salesforce username password OAuth. So we'll you just use the basic authentication for now. So click on OK. Here I need to give my username that is my email address from where you have created an account. And here I need to give my password and here I need to give a security token. So how to generate a security token from Salesforce? So once you're logged in, just go to the Salesforce, my settings. Here in quick find, quick find you can write sick token and reset my security token. Once you click on reset security token, this will send one mail to your email address, registered email address, and there's a token. You will get you can get it from your email address. So for now, I already have a token. I will copy my token. I will paste it over here and try to validate my configuration. So for the first time, this can take almost like 30 seconds and sometimes faster. So it's text successfully done and now click on OK. Here I will select my operation. So there are a lot of operations present on Salesforce. These are related to update, update bulk, update single, then we have upsert operation, then we have search, we have retrieve, reset password, query is for select operation, and then we have create operation, create job, create bulk, create single, then we have delete operations. So for now, we will go through the query single. So here we'll write SOQL, that is the Salesforce Object Query Language. This is similar to the SQL. So uh, we'll start with select what we need to select. So we'll once, so there are columns in Salesforce. So 
let's say I want to fetch account I will go to account if you're not able to find your account contact over here just click over here the plus sign and uh, you can click on accounts over here so you can find it so we have account and then let's say this account I want to fetch the details of that account so what I will do I will see this is the account name account number and everything so there's on right side you can find this pop-up and then here click on view fields here you can see all the fields are present for that particular account so I have account name owner site and the stuff I want let's say I want to fetch the name of the account with that account ID so I will let's say name comma ID ID from account where ID equals to here I need to pass my URI parameter so we'll use in single quote I will give hash message dot inbound properties dot HTTP URI params dot ID I will save this now what we'll do we'll log that particular response from the Salesforce this one logger I will put and then here I will log hash payload I will save this so we are done with this thing we are done the Salesforce configuration we are logged it we are done we are done with the HTTP and we are passing ID as an URI parameter so I will run this project say run as one more thing sometimes you can get exception regarding the uh, maybe related to the your Salesforce connection error or something just before that just you can go to configuration and here you can do a test validation and uh, here you can do disable session invalidation and click on OK we'll save it and now we'll run it so OK I will right click on it and will run as mule application and click on OK so this will deploy my application on local we can check that on console sometimes sometimes take like a few minutes to deploy because first time is trying to connect the the Salesforce and try to find the as the metadata of that Salesforce we can wait for a few minutes till then I can sh I will show you this stuff on Salesforce site so whatever uh, objects you have Salesforce you can click over here you can find all the objects on Salesforce is account then we have cases contacts then we have ideas micros we have profile con cons and we have chatters this many so it's getting deployed still going on we'll go back to so whatever you want to do and uh, you can see I'll click on account this is my account so this ID is the Salesforce unique ID for each record so this ID will use to fetch the details of an account so we'll pass this ID as a URI parameter it's getting failed let me see followed by attribute specified by colon let me see if something is wrong Okay, there's an I think 
there is some issue with the query let me check yeah there's an issue with, uh, I will go I think this is the issue I will again once verify again with the Salesforce connector. Query single. And this is good now. We'll save this. So this will automatically replication on my local. We'll see. Sometimes you'll get you need to terminate the server. Then I can show. so it's getting deployed and then you can see here it's deployed successfully and now what we'll do we'll try to hit the service so on postman i will like get operation localhost 881 and the id which i want to fetch for which i want to fetch i click on send and we can check my logs so here we have info logger the name of that account Rington Textile Corporation of America. So in this way, you can create something. You can select anything you want to from the Salesforce. You can create it for create. I will just stop this. And for create, you need to add one transform emission message before the Salesforce. And here, you need to provide all the stuff we want to create. Let's say I want to create an account. I will provide account data like account name, account number, or account. Uh, phone number, fax detail, addresses and other stuff and here in Salesforce I will select create single operation and here I will select the object let's say I want to create an account so this will automatically fetches from the Salesforce account all the objects we are available so account 
I will save this so this will create my account so you can work on this thing you can practice more on the Salesforce connect to try to create account try to update account try to try to get something from the account or contact opportunity or any other Salesforce object so that's it for this video you can practice more you can gain more knowledge on this thank you